Ladies and gentlemen, um, I know I said I was going to do a video on how to remove the headlight unit and all that, but it's pretty self-explanatory. You just undo that, and then undo that, and then there's two screws on the bottom here, one there, and one there, and then the headlight unit pops out, but be careful with it because there's wires, as you can see in there. There's a lot of wires backed up in there and you don't want to wreck them. So what I'm going to do today is replace this bulb and this bulb. And I've got two different bulbs for this one. So I've got the HS1 Crystal Vision Ultra. And then somebody suggested I try the City Vision Moto. Um, this one's supposed to be 40% brighter, so we will do a compare and contrast and see what's what. So bear with me and uh, I will get fitted. So first of all, to remove this one, I believe it's just a pull fit. Unfortunately, I've only got one pair of hands, so I'm going to finish the video and then start up again. Once I've got that exposure, you can see what's what. Cheers. Right, there we go. It's an interference fit, so you've just got to pull it out, so wiggle it back and forward, being careful, and then that comes out. Then what you need to do then is that bulb literally just pops out, and just here I have these to fit. You only need one of them, so you've got one spare, which is handy. So I'll open the box and pop it in now, okay? As you can see, it literally just pushes in. I mean, you can't put it in the wrong way. It just goes in one way. And then you just got to pop it back in there, making sure that that rim there seats in that gap that goes all the way around it. And then jobs are gonna just make sure it's waterproof, okay? Now this next one's a little bit trickier. To remove the bulb, you need to remove these clips here. That should just push down one side and push down on the other. There we go. And then that should just flip up, if I remember rightly. So there we go. And out comes the bulb. There we go, simple as that. So now I'm just gonna pop in, first of all, this one, and then we'll see what kind of brightness it's got. And then we'll pop this other one in and we'll compare and contrast and I'll keep, whichever one's the best I'll keep in. Wait me a second. Okay, so that's in. Basically that black bit just slides back over to the on the um, connectors. It'll only go one way. You may also notice on here three tabs. One, two, three. They will only locate in a specific way back into the uh, headlight housing. Um, so you, again, you can't get it the wrong way around. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to connect everything back up and then we'll see what's what. Okay, cheers. Hi, right, sorry for the dark room, but that is the side light now. I think you will agree. It's a lot brighter. Um, and I'm just going to flash the main beam. Um, I can tell you that's is incredibly much brighter than the light was previously with the original bulb in. So there we go. That's main beam. It's main beam. So now I am going to put the other one in. Hello, guys. So now we've got the bulb in. Um, I've got some mask tape on there so I could just quickly swap the bulbs in and out. That's still the new WSW1, so that's a nice looking light. And this is the, so say, 40% more powerful one. Pretty fair. I don't think there's a lot in it. Um, Bear with me. That is the main beam. That's it. 
I think I'm going to leave that one in. So all that matters to do now is I've got to button it all back up. But I think, um, yeah, I'm happy with that bulb. I think that's pretty good. I'll keep the other one as a spare. Thank you very much and good night.